What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I want to talk about the difference between microinverters and string inverters for your solar panel system. So first things first, let's talk about what we mean by a string. In solar, we have several different uh, units that we give names to. One of them is a string, which is solar panels that are wired in series. If you don't know what series means, basically they're just uh, wired end to end in a long string. So a string inverter takes all of the DC electricity generated by that string of solar panels and converts it into AC electricity. String inverters also operate at a much higher input voltage because when you wire solar panels in series, you are increasing the voltage. The good parts about string inverters are you can put them anywhere, which is nice for mounting purposes. You can put them indoors, you can kind of put them where you can get to them easily. They're cheaper to use than microinverters. And also, if you ever have to troubleshoot your system, uh, if, if something were to happen to your system, most likely the inverter is going to be the culprit. And you're going to have much easier access to that in your shed, in your basement, in your garage or whatever than you would climbing up on your roof and playing around underneath the panel. The bad news is they don't last as long as microinverters. The warranty is much shorter, typically five or 10 years, whereas microinverters are 25 years. And also your strings can all suffer from shading problems. And we'll talk about that a little more later. One thing to know, a newer technology called a solar optimizer is now available for string systems that kind of mimics the benefits of a microinverter. So some of those cons that we just talked about, specifically the shading, is mitigated a little bit by using a solar optimizer, but we're not going to get into that in depth in this video. So a microinverter, like the name implies, is a much smaller inverter and it mounts behind your solar panel. Every single solar panel on your system must have its own microinverter uh, installed behind it or beside it or wherever. So the microinverter will be outside right next to the solar panel. The benefits to a microinverter is it's going to be more efficient. Just by the way that solar panels work, each individual solar panel is going to have slightly different voltages, slightly different production values. So microinverters will use the maximum amount of voltage from each solar panel, whereas a string inverter will lower it, lower the whole voltage down to the lowest common denominator. Another thing is that it does not suffer from shading, which we're going to talk about in a second. And it is, makes it your whole system expandable uh, where you can add another solar panel or two and just put another microinverter behind it and wire everything up and you're good to go. Whereas with a string system, you have to add another entire string. So back to shading. With a string system, if one of your solar panels gets shaded by a branch or tree or telephone pole or whatever, then the entire string will drop to that same production of that lowest common denominator panel. With a microinverter, because every single panel has its own inverter, you, the rest of the system does not suffer for one individual panel. Another situation where this is critical is if you have solar panels installed on different gables or different directions on your roof. If you had these in, a, in the same string, for example, and the sun was shining in one direction, then uh, the others would be shaded, which would bring down your overall production. The bad news is that it's going to increase your cost to use microinverters because the technology is still a little bit newer. Uh, that the cost is dropping, but it is going to be more expensive to use them. It's also going to be harder to replace that inverter because you have to climb up on your roof and pull up that solar panel and do some wiring and some replacing of, of an inverter if you were to have a problem. And that's basically the difference between micro and string inverters. If you found this video helpful or you want to see more of my stuff, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.